Hello again, YouTube. This is ST with Silver Stacking 101. In this video, I am going to discuss 1960 wages versus 2017 wages in terms of silver. This video was planned for a couple weeks from now. However, I received a great question from a viewer in reference to monetary debasement demonstrated. Shelt writes, question, is it fair to consider income at 1960 to today? Two dimes had to be a lot harder to come by in those times. I am starting to stack silver and believe it is real money. I just feel without taking this in account, it is misleading. Great question. Thank you for sending it in. So let's take it into account. Uh, when I was doing the research for monetary debasement demonstrated, I came across this and I was going to do it in a later video, but now's a good time to throw it in. Before we go any further, there's a couple of things we have to agree on. Number one, silver and gold are the only real money in the world. And we know that because every fiat currency that's ever been devised and tried has ultimately reverted to its intrinsic value, which is zero. Now that's a fact. If we all agree on that, we can go further. Now, we have heard, or I have heard, I'm sure you have heard, Older people say, these young people today do not know how to manage money. They want everything right now. Those mamas are putting their children in daycare so they can go out and have everything right now. I will submit to you that when we were coming along, we wanted everything right now. I will submit to you that when our parents were coming along, they wanted everything everything right now. Human desires have not changed for millennia. What has changed is our money supply. It used to be possible to comfortably make it off one income. Now, ladies, I am not against equality in the workplace for women. Uh, I'm for equal pay, equal treatment. However, I am against a lady being denied the choice because of a defective monetary system, whether she wants to stay at home with her children or pursue her career. I hate young ladies today do not have that choice, and I'm against them not having that choice. Now, if they choose to pursue their career, I'm all for it. So please don't hate on me and think I'm a male chauvinist. I am not. Okay. Now let's talk about 1960 versus 2017. Let's start with the minimum wage. Oh, and by the way, at the end of this video, I'm going to ask you a question. I want you to answer it to yourself. And it's a very, very important question. 1960 minimum wage was $1. 2017 minimum wage was is $7.25. So in 1960, I got 10 silver dimes if I made minimum wage per hour. The current melt value of a dime is $1.33. So, it, I made the current melt value of $13.30 per hour. $1.33 times my 10 dimes. In 2017, $7.25 an hour, I could go out and buy $7.25 worth of silver. Before, I got $13.30 worth of silver at minimum wage. Okay, so before when I had 10 dimes, 
I will end up with 5.45 silver, silver dimes. That's relating it money for money, what it is today. Had 10 before, I'm slightly over half now. Pretty scary stuff. Now, let's talk about the average wage. And the average wage right now is somewhat subjective because it's still a moving target. Data hasn't came in from two years ago. Uh, after going through it, I think $23.12 will be a safe number to use per hour for 2017. In 1960, the average wage was $2.50 per hour. Now, we're still dealing with the current melt value of $1.33. In 1960, at $2.50 per hour, average wage, I was able, I would have been able to get 25 dimes. At $1.33 melt value, the present value in silver is $33.25. Now, that equates, or $23.12, I can buy $23.12 worth of silver, which equates to $1.33 melt value per dime, 17.38 dimes. So I'm going from 25 dimes per hour, silver dimes, to 17 silver dimes per hour. As we saw from monetary debasement demonstrated, the purchasing power of silver is somewhat steady. The purchasing power of that equivalent of silver in 1960 and now is somewhat in the ballpark. So, here's my question. We went from $33 worth of silver to $23 worth of silver. Why is mom having to go to work now? Why are we not able to survive off one income in a household like we thrived in the 50s and 60s? Is it because mom and dad want to overbuy toys? Well, they bought toys in the 50s and 60s too. Or is it because the money they buying with has been debased. Now, I promised you a question I want you to ask yourself. Back when those people met on Jekyll Island to come up with the Fed, the people that came up with the idea of moving us off the biometal system, the people that administer the system today for the Fed, do you think they're stupid? You think this was an unintentional consequence? No. Folks, there's some more videos that stuff I came across that are factual, undisputed facts. Factual, undisputed facts. I'm saying it. That's double redundancy. I'm sorry. Undisputed facts about the way our monetary systems administered that shook me to my core. I would have never dreamed of stuff that is common knowledge and accepted, such as the National Gold Reserve hasn't been audited since 1954. No independent third party audit. Does that sound right to you? The National Gold Reserve, no audit. I'm going to address some of these other videos. Uh, Midweek next week, we're going to have a light video. Next weekend, we're going to do what I was going to do this weekend, which is don't follow the herd. They'll lead you off the cliff. Then we're going to come back to this stuff. We're going to hit it a lot harder. We know it is. We're going to find out why. Another thing, people like Michael Moore and Bernie Sanders, they see the effects of the problem. 
but they don't correctly identify the problem. We're going to walk through the mathematics and historical evidence, not hearsay, and we're going to identify the culprits. Keep your comments coming. God bless you, and thank you for viewing and subscribe. This is ST with Silverstacking 101. Thank you.